Welcome back to DXB Today, where by now I'm pretty sure you are convinced that movement truly is the new medicine and you can start implementing it into your life from tonight. And our next guest is going to convince you even further. He has been on his own journey of self-discovery and is still very much on it. But he is also sharing his expertise and helping others connect with themselves because that's truly the most important. And he's doing it all through his breathwork retreats. Please welcome to the show, Ferdinand Modelek. How are you? Thank you very much for having me here, guys. Yeah, honoured to, honored to have you here. Okay, so breathwork retreats. We do want to get to that because I think that's really important. I myself want to discover this, but I want to take you back. What helped you discover breathwork in the first place in your journey? Absolutely. So I think like many people, I was suffering from uh, chronic stress and I was not doing very well in my life. And uh, it just came to me through a family member. And at the beginning, I didn't really believe of the power of it. And now I'm looking back six years and uh, it completely changed my life. I mean, that's amazing. So I actually need to ask, and I, I hope I don't get a bad answer, <laughs> but I actually suffered for 10 years without realizing it with sleep apnea. I had uh, deviated septum and enlarged tonsils, which meant for the past 10 years, I haven't been breathing correctly. I finally got it fixed. Um, but what does breathing incorrectly, how does that affect your body negatively and your mental health as well? Very good. So it's an amazing question, by the way. And uh, guys, we can all be aware that if we stop breathing for five minutes, we are out of here. Mm -hmm. So it's a foundation of our systems. If we learn how to breathe a little bit better, which is actually quite basic, it's going to change your whole physiology. Less inflammation, I know that these days many people are suffering from autoimmune disease, for example. This can be a massive solution for people suffering from this. So a little bit of techniques and a lot of benefits. I wanted to ask um, about mouth breathing overnight, because I've heard, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, that it's not good to breathe through your mouth and it can actually change the shape of your face over time. So the latest fad I've seen is actually for the mouth breathers taping your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. I've got them. What do we, where do we go to like fix this if we are a mouth breather and should we apply the tape? Yeah, it's, it's a perfect question because actually I'm still suffering myself from mouth breathing during the night. Okay. So we are many and the issue is that once you're breathing by the mouth, it activates the stress part of your nervous system. And the issue is that we are already living in a modern life where there is a lot of stress coming. We are living in Dubai, we love it, but all these lights, all these messages, email responsibilities, or creating an overload of stress sometimes. We do love this life, we don't want to change it, so we will have to change our breath. Breathing by the mouth is very bad, and you can see it in my face already, it's very long, because breathing by the mouth, after a long period of time, actually change even your features. Mm -hmm. And this is not something very healthy, so please don't do like me. Mm -hmm. Go fix, like you, your nostril. Mm -hmm. Go, you know, like, tape your mouth, you can, yeah if you're able to breathe by the nose. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, Ferdinand, you mentioned stress and, you know, the influx of notifications and, and stimuluses that we get living in such a fast-paced city. Now, I've been a victim of being in a workplace that wasn't necessarily for me. Um, it affected my mental health, it affected the way I exercise. What tips would you give people in that situation? Very good. So, your breath, it's like a remote control to manage your nervous system. We are all going to have um, disturbance mm -hmm. in our life. Some more than others, but don't get me wrong, we chose to live in a modern environment, mm -hmm. so there will be disturbance. Mm -hmm. Few basic things, guys. I know we are busy already, so I will not say do 30 minutes of breath work every day. People will not have the time to apply this. Mm. I'm applying it right now. While I'm talking to you, I'm breathing by the nose, by the belly, and as calm as I can. Sometimes people, you can see them by the mouth <laughs> or to the chest. Mm. This creates even more stress. So you are able to manage your nervous system, your level of stress mm. and inflammation, just thanks to your breath. The issue is that we're gonna have triggers, bad news, emails, responsibilities. Mm. So it's up to each and every one of us to be like, oh my God, I have this tool with me that I can use at any moment in time just by relaxing, I can change the way I feel. Wow. How do you switch? How difficult is it? Because habits, I'm very guilty of being a chest breather or a mouth breather, but the switch and it being conscious, because we breathe very subconsciously, right? Yes. It's innate to us. Mm -hmm. And so we don't actually always realize that we're breathing through the chest and, and not through our nose. How difficult is it to switch over? 
I believe it's a matter of awareness. And thanks to you guys now, we are spreading a message that can bring a lot of help to many. You don't have to think about your breath. Just think about your stress. As soon as you feel, oh my God, I don't feel good. I feel out of balance. I feel a um, foggy brain. I have my breath with me. Mm. And you go back to something more slow, more calm, by the nose, by the belly, and as slow as you can. It's going to change everything, guys. This is very foundation that we haven't learned yet. But now we have this opportunity to share this knowledge. So here we are. Mm. I mean, you are continuing to sp spread it as well right here in the city, Ferdinand. Tell me more about your retreats, Tribe Superhuman in Dubai and of course across the world as well. Tell me more. So it's an opportunity to come to learn a lot about the mind as well, because um, our being, long story short, is composed of our conscious, subconscious and unconscious. So in general, we are going all day with the conscious. I want this in life, I'm going to go there. But then we have our subconscious, our emotions. Oh my God, I'm too sad, too angry, too afraid. That's the subconscious. And then we have the unconscious, which is your blueprint, who you are. For example, I am not enough. I am not worth uh, love. I don't deserve love. Uh, I am afraid of uh, social interactions. These are the set of beliefs mm. that sometimes limit you. During this retreat, we are moving that out of your system so you can be your true self and you can create your desired reality. Mm. And speaking of desired reality, uh, 13 hours <laughs> on a board of nails. <laughs> uh, how did you implement your breath work that? into that? <laughs> like, I can't even stand up for 13 hours, let alone a board of nails. <laughs> um, tell us about that experience. So I want to start with the fact that this is completely pointless to do 13 hours on a, this type of board. <laughs> it it makes no sense to myself as well. So why doing something like this? I just wanted to show that by using the tools that I'm sharing with you right now, I was able to change my set of belief. And from being lazy, blocked in my life, complaining all the time, I was also suffering from high inflammation. I end up now without too much forcing to break a Guinness World Record, just because I applied these techniques to change and being able to unlock just my potential. The transition I want to make is that 13 hours on nails doesn't mean much, but it just shows the power of the mind. What can we do with the power of the mind? We can say to our dad, I forgive you. To your mom, I love you. You can um, take on more information and being like, I'm still feeling at peace. I'm still at peace. Okay, so I can keep on going. Mm. And therefore you can change again your life. Mm. Well, Ferdinand, it's been amazing having you on. Thank you so much. And we're gonna ask you to breathe softly on the sofa while we actually put Ali on the spot because <laughs> we do have DXB in 60 for you and remember some of that breathwork technique. Okay, do I, you got the quiz? <laughs> yes, I do. So I'm not sure if anyone told you this, but you've got 60, uh, 60 seconds to answer as many what? questions as possible. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry, they're all about yourself. So oh, great. it's all about you. No wrong Nobody answers. Nobody told me anything. <laughs> well, you've got the perfect person to lead you through it right now. <laughs> <Stay calm>. Deep <laughs> breaths, deep <laughs> breaths. Okay, can we have the timer in three, two, one. What is the top advice you would give to anyone who hasn't been active for a while, but wants to start? Just go, start small, just go. Oh, love it. Yeah. Top benefits of practicing yoga? Uh, relaxing, calming the mind, and connecting movement to breath. Amazing. And your morning routine before going to work? Mine, uh, I actually do pranayama, so breathing practices, a few breathing practices, and then I make my way to the gym, and then I drop the kids to school. Oh, okay. <laughs> How do you use your essential oils? Uh, all the time, mm -hmm. uh, everywhere. So okay. depending on the symptom, if I have a headache, I'll use peppermint along my temples. Um, I use it as my perfume as well. And then calming on the wrists, if I'm feeling a bit overwhelming during the day, I'll put some there. Amazing. Your go-to, your favorite gym in Dubai? Uh, I uh, love Warehouse Gym. Okay, amazing. Top wellness spot in Dubai? Uh, Matcha Club, where I teach. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> final. <Biased>. Yeah. <laughs> A uh, bit of a biased. Final question, why Dubai? Um, Dubai is home. I've been here 14 years. Uh, it was exciting to first come and then I love the culture, the people and the city. It's beautiful. Smashed Aww. it. Yeah. See? It was easy. It was easy. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we're all at one with our breath. Yes. I want to thank you so much, Ali, thank for joining you. us as our guest co-host. You've been phenomenal. And once again, thank, thank you so you. much, Ferdinand, for, for being here with us. Uh, so much more yet to come right here on DXB today. Coming up soon. Hey guys, La Rucha here. I got into music when I was around 15 years old. 
because I've always loved jazz and, and blues and soul. So um, actually, I didn't know I could sing until later on in life because I don't come from a musical family. So I'm the first one in my family that actually sings. I can't wait to perform for you guys tonight. Make sure you check it out.